So, if you watched my last video, you'll know I did a, a 300, 300 mile trip, round trip, which left me with a dead battery, which is the perfect time to show you guys how fast the Tesla Model S long range, the new 2020 model, how fast it can charge at home. So I luckily have a 22 kilowatt, three phase charger at my house. Well, not my house, my business, but it's my, my prop at my property. To get this kind of charger, you have to have three phase power at your building, um, which is possible on a lot of road, on a lot of houses, sometimes you have to get it rerouted. It's not really worth it if you're asking me. But um, if you're lucky enough to have free phase, these are the charging speeds you can get in the Tesla Model S. And actually, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest you can charge a vehicle at home. So let's go try this out. Twenty miles per hour. Twenty one. Thirty five, thirty six. Okay, so the car, oh no, it's going up now. 18, 19, 20 amps, 21, 24. Okay, so 54, 55, 56, 55, 56. Okay, 56 miles per hour. 56. What? That's crazy. 56 miles per hour. And that's um, from a flat battery. I've got a feeling, already a mile added. I've got a feeling that, well, I had it, I did have it faster when I was, I nearly had a full battery and it was doing, I think it was doing 59, 60. But there you go, there's 55. Now this is a Model S, so you've got to remember just how much power that's pumping into the car. It's 55 miles an hour, so my Model 3 will do 50 miles per hour. But you've got to remember that the Model 3 is a lot more efficient, so a mile is a lot less power in the Model 3. So in the Model S, it's a lot more power, so 55 miles per hour in this car is not equal to 55 miles per hour in the Model 3, if that makes sense. Now, I'm not, I'm hopefully not getting my stats and information mixed up here, but the reason this car is capable of doing faster charging with a home charger is because it uses the onboard car charger. So the onboard car charger of this car takes that power and then puts it into the battery. Um, so that means this can do up to 59 miles per hour, I think, because it has a more powerful onboard battery charger. On the Model 3, it can do 50 miles per hour with its onboard charger, which is less powerful than this onboard charger, or less, it has less capacity, that's probably not the right word, but it's basically can take less power than this Model 3, Model S, onboard charger so the model 3 can take less power but because it's more efficient it gets close to that 50 mile mark the model s has a better onboard charger which means it can take more power into the battery with its onboard charger and it's capable of doing 55 maybe 60 i've had it close to 60 miles per hour so more than the model 3 can take a lot more power than the model 3 from a home charger so this home charger is the generation 2 power wall which can do up to 22 kilowatts of power um, and it's on three phase electricity as is. So we've, we've got basically the most powerful setup you can have with the most powerful onboard charger that you've got in any of the cars. And this is the fastest speed you can get on a home charger. From what I know, so I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but 55 miles at the moment, I'm pretty sure we can get 60 miles. I'll keep filming to find out. The Model 3 is capable of faster supercharging speed. So how is that possible if it's got a, a worse charger? And that is because, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make sure I'm right before I upload this, but that is possible because the superchargers bypass these uh, onboard chargers. They don't use the same chargers. They, they don't use the same onboard charger that your car uses when it's home charging. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, I'll look into that. But it basically means that the, I think the charger 
the supercharger has all the special gizmos and gasmos that make sure the battery is all right in that case and that's because tesla regulate those chargers so the chargers are super intelligent now this charger is kind of intelligent but it's running off our electricity and we're not we're supplying the power to it and i don't think tesla trusts that so they regulate that with the onboard car charger and that means that we can use loads of different kinds of outlets at home and uh, it doesn't have to be a tesla verified one but it goes into the car's charger first and then gets kicked out to the battery so we'll see i'll let you know i'm going to leave it charging for a few hours and see sort of what what point we get up to but yeah pretty interesting stuff so there you go there's the stats we've got 54 miles an hour 24 amps i'm guessing that is 240 to 241 volts i guess the little three is for three phase i'm guessing i will test this out very soon at a supercharger it will be a different kind of ball game so let's go outside and check what the charging speed is now on the Model S, it's been it's been going now for probably about an hour. Let's go have a look. Well, it's 78 miles so far. It's at the 56 to 50, yeah, 56 miles an hour, and that just looks like what it's going to do: 56 miles an hour. So that's the home charging. But what I'm interested now is to head to a supercharger and find out how fast this thing charges at a supercharger. So, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, it's a bit late now, I'm gonna head over to Grantham and charge this thing up and see just how fast the new 2020 Model S long range charges at a supercharger. Let's go. But now we're heading to the Grantham supercharger to find out how fast the new 2020 Model S charges and I've just put it in on the sat-nav system that we're going to the supercharger and the car has decided to start pre-conditioning the battery for fast charging. So it's pre-conditioning the battery for fast charging. I don't know how powerful these chargers are. Hopefully we get a powerful one and I can show you sort of how fast this charges. So it charges 60 miles at home. Let's see how fast we can get at a supercharger. What's your opinion on charging the car so far in terms of like, model 3 and all that sort of stuff how much hassle have you seen it like just be completely honest i'd say it's the opposite of a hassle it's like taking away the hassle of having to go to the petrol station yeah so will will does will does obviously doesn't yeah, drive care. he hasn't got a driving license but um i mean i drive you around quite a lot don't i yeah. normally going to the petrol station happens quite frequently doesn't it like we yeah. go to the petrol station, and that's kind of a faff would you say yeah how many times have you seen me struggling with the model 3 or the model s or any of them like with the charging with our charger at home like it, it's in a like oh god i need this journey let me get some juice in yeah i'd say uh what i see is you you arrive well you always arrive quite early anyway but you normally just arrive put it on charge and then when you want to leave you just take it back off charge i've never seen it as a issue so you've, have yeah. you ever seen me struggling with charge no Okay, that's no, that's so. it, that's him being honest as well. I've never, it's just never been a problem. Charging's never been a problem. But anyway, we're off to the supercharger. We are pulling up to the supercharger, and it's empty. Not a single Tesla. I've heard the fastest one is on the end. Now I don't know if this is all rubbish, like this idea which one's the fastest ones. But I've heard these are the fastest ones. So let's jump on these and uh, see how fast we get. So you see these little bumpers here. Everyone's gonna be like, yes, I know what you're supposed to do, Jordan. You bump into these, and then that means you're at the right length. There you go, bump into it, park it up. So in the in the UK, we use this one, this bottom one here. Give it a little point at your uh, car, press the button, bam. And one great way of understanding how this is different from the home charger is the thickness of the cable. <laughs> you can't really gauge, but these things are super thick. And in fact, I think that the faster ones get even thicker. There you go, and here we go, here we go. Whoa, we're on the race. We're at the races. Whoa! 400, 420. So 115 kilowatt as it stands, 116. Everyone who knows in the Tesla world, that is not the fastest supercharger you can get. So they have a version three supercharger, 
which will do 250 kilowatts, so twice as fast. I think in the Model 3 you can get over a thousand miles an hour. So this one in Grantham will do up to 150 kilowatts. So we might be able to see just over 500 miles once the battery's warmed up and really going. So you might see 500 miles. Unfortunately, as suspected, the chargers here aren't that fast. So this, the charger here only got up to 150 kilowatts. So I can't actually get any faster. Now, like I said, if we was in a different place in the UK, or if we, if we was at a V3 charger, we would get around a thousand miles an hour, which is kind of crazy in comparison to the 60 miles an hour we get at home. When you're home charging, although now in comparison to this 380, 400 miles we're getting here, although now that seems slow, you don't need this kind of speed at home. You only need the 60 miles an hour at home. I think if we're, if we're talking about home, you need to think about overnight charging. So even if you're getting half the charge rate we, we were getting, which would be 11 kilowatt system, you'd be getting 30 miles an hour. So overnight, over a 10 hour span, you would get 300 miles, which is more than enough. So the 60 miles an hour is is way overkill. So if you've got a 60 mile an hour charger at home or a 22 kilowatt charger at home and you've got that free phase power, you've got overkill system. In fact, it's, it's an amazing system because you can have a car fully charged in like three or four hours. Uh, but overnight, it's easily going to be fully charged. At 11 kilowatts, you would have your car fully charged from a dead battery in around 10 hours, which again is amazing. Like 11 kilowatts, more than enough. And then we've got 7.2 kilowatts, which is a lot of houses in the UK, 7.2 kilowatts. So you would need, let's say you're getting around, on a Model 3, you'd probably get around 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tell me if I'm wrong. At, say you was parked up for like 10 to 20, I mean, you'd probably get 100, 120 miles of range added each night. In fact, you'd get, you'd probably get more, you'd probably get 15 miles an hour. Tell me how many miles an hour you get. Is it more than that? Maybe 20 miles an hour? But I mean, you're still getting between 100 and 200 miles every night of range added. So as long as you're not doing more than 100 miles each night, each day, of driving or, or 100 miles or less, you're fine. Every single day, you're fine. 7.2 kilowatts, you probably, every night is what would be happening is you'd have a full battery, you'd go to work and you'd drain it down to around 70% then you'd charge it back up and then you'd be a full battery again. And you'd always be at a full battery because unless your driving style is, you, you have 300 mile range and you drive it down to 15 miles by the end of the day, you get home and then you charge it up 100 miles, then you're stuffed. That's if you had a 7.2 kilowatt battery, a charger, and you're driving th over 300 miles a day and you do no supercharging throughout that day at all. It, that's the only situation where it wouldn't work out very well for you. And that's only if you've got a 7.2 kilowatt charger. If you've got an 11 kilowatt charger, that situation would still be fine. So, you know, it's only in certain circumstances where you'd be struggling at a charge speed. But there you go. That is the Model S long range, the fastest home charging vehicle. And I'm pretty sure it's just a standard charging, supercharging vehicle. I actually think it's slower than the Model 3 on a, v, uh, on a V3 charger because Per kilowatt, it's less efficient on the road of driving. I hate saying kilowatt and kilowatt hour. I always get it mixed up. And I know people go for you in the comment section. But yeah, the fastest charging, home charging vehicle from Tesla is this one. 60 miles an hour at home. Pretty crazy. A V3 charger, we're probably looking at 800 to 1,000 miles an hour, which is crazy as well. With all that being said, this is the Model S long range. It's the fastest charging, home charging car that Tesla do. At 60 miles an hour, it's pretty crazy. But any Model 3 on a 22 kilowatt charger will also charge at 50 miles per hour, which is insane. So you're covered with all Teslas. If you're looking at the old Model S or the old Model X, you're looking maybe around 20 to 30 miles an hour on a home charger, or maybe less if you've got the 11 kilowatt charger or the 7.2 kilowatt charger. I'm impressed. This Model S is absolutely growing on me. I'm loving it. It's got so many features about it that are absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below. To, uh, just let me sort of know what charging times you are getting on your Tesla. I'd be really interested to find out everyone in the States, if you guys as standard get three phase electricity like us or not. I, I'd really be interested in that. As always, you've been wonderful. Thanks for sticking around. Um, William, you're part of the outro now. Go tell them what they've got to do with the referral link. Yeah, uh, bye.
car through a referral link. You don't have to buy one, but if you uh, do... If you're going to buy a Tesla, click the referral link. It gives us... A thousand free super charger. And them a thousand free And it gives you a thousand free super charger, which is more important. More important is you getting your thousand free super charger miles. As always, you've been wonderful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.